Oh, no, no, we stand yes. ahead. Can we apologize? Yeah, apologize. You have. Yeah. Yeah. Like, are you like ready? Like I'll do it again. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think we are not properly assembled. Yeah. Can these things be shorter than they are? Yeah. Eh? Well, <clears throat> they cannot be taller than us. <laughs> That's okay. That's oh. We are done. <laughs> now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are all the same mind. You know everybody on this side. And uh, once again, our apologies for keeping you. We had to accompany Jacom to go and say Pole to the family, to Mama Eileen and the family. We found they are quite a big team. Today, we are going to have our sister mother read our joint statement regarding the tragedy that is facing this country. So our sister mother. This is our statement on the tragic helicopter accident that claimed the life of General Francis Omondi Ogola, Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, and nine officers. Asimio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition, joins all Kenyans and indeed the world in grieving the tragic loss of the Chief of Kenya Defense Forces, General Francis Omondi Ogola. The general passed on yesterday as a result of a tragic helicopter crash at Kaben Chepturel boundary between El Geyo, Maraquet and West Pokot counties. General Ogola died in the course of duty alongside nine other officers, Major George Benson Magondu, Brigadier Swale Said, Colonel Duncan Keitani, Lieutenant Colonel David Sawe, Captain Sora Mohammed, Captain Hilali Litali, Senior Sergeant John Kenyua Mureidi, Sergeant Clifons Omondi and Sergeant Rose Nyawera. This is devastating, not only to the country, but to more to their families. Fortunately, the brutal hand of death left behind two unidentified survivors whom we wish a speedy recovery. We also ask that they be secured and afforded the best treatment that we can afford. We will always remember General Ogola as a devout patriot and dedicated soldier to the Republic of Kenya from the day he graduated. He has been through multiple tours of duty and ultimately as the top soldier in Kenya, the Chief of Defense Forces, the CDF. He was revered by his colleagues at home and abroad. He has had a service of 40 years. Kenya's 11th CDF was a focused visionary whose impact on our disciplined forces, indeed our nation, will be greatly missed. To General Ogola's family and those, the families of the other fallen soldiers, we offer our deepest condolences. At this most difficult moment, we stand with them and our prayers are with them. As a Zimio, we are deeply concerned that the Kenya Defense Forces have had several other accidents in the last 12 months including yesterday's tragic crash. Just a minute, and uh, we are saying that this must be thoroughly investigated. We are aware that it is the Kenya Defense Forces that they secures the, flight, the flights of their commander-in-chief, as well as of their top 
officer who is the CDF, the Chief of Defense Forces. They have done so successfully since independence. And yesterday's accident was unprecedented. We are therefore saying that uh, this is of great concern. Kenyans, it needs serious investigation. And it raises uh, pertinent concerns about our, uh, the safety of our airspace and especially of our disciplined forces. We need a serious relook into our security equipment, especially the aircraft, to under and we need to undertake a complete overhaul. Yesterday's unfortunate accident needs expeditious investigations, as, and this will not only help ease the already tense and an anxious feelings of Kenyans, but it will put an end to any speculation. The investigations must be open and reports made to the public. We also wish to ask the Ruto administration to consider the welfare of our disciplined forces and their families. And we suggest that in commemoration of General Ogola and the brave soldiers who died yesterday and the countless unsung heroes, the disciplined forces welfare fund should be established as soon as possible to address the well-being of our disciplined forces. The questions Kenyans are asking in conclusion is whether it is routine for the Chief of Defense Forces to go and inspect construction of classrooms. Was this a plan within the military or was it a directive? There are many questions which beg answers. Even the visual images of that accident, I don't want to say anything more that may prejudice investigations, they leave us with anxiety and answers are needed as soon as possible. Once again, our deepest condolences to the families of General Ogola and the eight gallant officers who perished with him. And our prayers for quick recovery for the two survivors. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This was not the one.